Thank you for tapping in with your boy Bobby Bruh TV on the Pavilion Podcast. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Let's go. Is it safe to say yet that the Lakers will not be any seed this year? Is it safe to say that the Lakers did not improve from last year? Is it safe to say that the Lakers made the wrong decision when they released the entire team right after the bubble win, right after the bubble championship. They released the entire team. I don't know who decision that was. I don't know what was going on in the locker room. Nobody knows except for the people that were, that were on the team. <clears throat> but I will say this. There has been some bad decisions being made in the Lakers organization. And it all starts from the top. Whether the top is is the Buzz family or LeBron. It all starts from the top. Now, I don't think it's LeBron because I don't think LeBron will set himself up to continue to lose the, the, the way that they are losing right now, the way that they lost last year is, is, is I thought the Lakers were showtime. And I'm not a fan of the Lakers, so by all means, let me know what you got to tell me if I'm wrong about the Lakers. But I thought they were showtime. I thought they were the, the show, the big show who everybody wanted to see. <clears throat> I'm going to say this. The direction that the Lakers are taking right now and have been taking for the past couple years, something is wrong. Something, this can't be by mistake. There can't, there's no way that the scouts or whoever looks into other NBA players or people, people out of college in the draft, there's no way that you will continue to make these kind of mistakes with the history that the, that the Lakers have. Ownership hasn't changed. It's the same family. So I'm not going to say it's the family. Ownership has not changed. The coaches have changed. GMs have changed. I'm pretty sure all positions have changed. Except for the family. So these bad decisions are coming from somewhere. But let me tell y'all this. Let me tell you this. I'm not a Lakers fan. But I will say that LeBron is one of the best of all time. LeBron James. If you guys do not get this together. You guys are going to make the end of his career look so sloppy. He didn't have to come there, truthfully. And I know it sounds crazy saying that, but he did not have to come there. LeBron is somebody that can go to any team and they could try to put some things together to win a, uh, to win a finals or get close. He's done it. You guys know that. He got the recipe from Wade and, and the Heat. I'm going to just let you know that right now. He got the recipe from Wade. But he has proven that he can go to different teams and go straight to a finals. So the way the Lakers are being put together, I think, I, me personally, I don't think Anthony Davis 
and and this is no disrespect to Anthony Davis. I don't think Anthony Davis and LeBron are a good fit together. I think LeBron needs another big man. Lakers should have did what they had to do to get Kyrie. LeBron and Kyrie would have been able to do it even with AD on the team. AD is not the problem. The problem is the entire team. Including LeBron. Because he not, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. But I know if he say no, don't get him. I know they not going to get that person. Y'all talking about y'all want to let go of Re Russell Westbrook, uh, get two get two first round picks, and Russell Westbrook all this all this other bullshit. Russell West Russell Westbrook was one of the best players on the team last night against the Sacramento Kings. Lakers against the Sacramento Kings, first preseason game, one hundred five to seventy five. Lakers 75. Shout out to the Sacramento Kings. Shout out to the coach. I know you just came from the Warriors. Shout out to you, my guy. I see you got them going in the right direction. But the Lakers. Come on, man. It, it was 21-27 Lakers. 2019 Kings. 35-13 Kings. How in the fuck is it 35 and 15 in the third quarter against the Lakers? They have LeBron, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's about it. That that that's about it. I'm not saying all I'm no disrespect to the other players. I'm just talking about the superstars on the team. And what superstars did the Sacramento Kings have? Right. Okay. We have Lakers, you got to figure this out. And y'all just letting Russell Westbrook doing what he did last night. Y'all letting that shit go under the table when he was when he had the eye of a tiger last night. He knew where the fuck everybody was at. He knew where the fuck everybody was at. And he made some great shots. He's showing y'all. Y'all got me fucked up. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing changed with me. It's only been y'all. That's what the fuck Russell Westbrook is saying. And nobody ain't listening. And I have no idea why. Patrick Beverly was being Patrick Beverly last night. He did have he did have an all right game. He did have an all right game. It was a couple of fumble rooskies when LeBron almost knocked him over. But yeah. I seen the lob between Pat, Pat Bev and uh Toscano Anderson. You know, Toscano, that's that that that's what we do, baby. You feel me? That what we do, Toscano. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody, man. I just wanted to talk. I I just wanted to go over the Lakers from last night, bro. This shit. I'm gonna tell you the teams that I was waiting to see when pre when preseason started was the Warriors, the Nets, the Lakers, the Grizzlies, and the Clippers. So far. All have been a disappointment except for the Warriors. So far. Uh, I want to thank y'all for tapping in with your boy fucking with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good rest of the week. About to head on in Wednesday. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.